Hey, what's up guys, Hans here. In today's video, I will show you the exact two properties on which I rent out my shipping containers. In particular, I will show you exactly how many containers I have on my two properties and what you need to consider when looking for a suitable property yourself. Make sure to stay until the end of the video as I will be describing how much money I make with each container on these properties. All right, guys, let's get it started. As you might have heard me talked about before, I have been running a side hustle in which I rent out storage space. In particular, I'm using standard shipping containers, which I just put in the two properties, which I just rent myself. And now you might be thinking, how does that actually work? What do your properties look like? And how much money do you make with it? And those are excellent questions. So let us dig deeper into that. Before we start, let me just remind you that I have extensively talked about this side hustle before. You can have a look at it in this video up here. If you're interested in this subject and setting up your own self-storage business, I highly recommend watching this video as I'm laying out the exact steps you have to go through to set up this business. But first, let's rewind. Let me tell you a bit how this business actually works. I'm renting out these shipping containers on these two properties, which I rent myself. On these rented properties, the containers are just sitting on the ground. Thereby, they are stationary and not attached to any wheels, and thus they can't be moved. The containers are then accessible at any time, and my renters can just go to the property, store whatever they want, or almost whatever they want into these containers. Then in return, I obviously do get rent for that. For this, I obviously had to make an investment, and that accumulated to roughly 30,000 euros. With this money, I mainly bought shipping containers, which I will show you in this video. But before we talk about how much money I make with my 30,000 euro investment, let us just have a look at the two properties on which my containers are actually stationed. Let's start off with property number one, which is like in the very south of Germany, close to Freiburg. As I said in my previous videos, I'm renting out this property from a friend of mine. And overall, I have nine containers on his property, all with different sizes. For this property, I'm paying rent of roughly roughly 125 euros per month, which equals to 1,500 euros per year. So let me just show you around the property. All right, let's start off with the front of the property and with the shipping containers, which are facing the street. What you can see here in this video is my 40 foot long container. This is the only 40 foot container I currently have. As I said in another video, I don't recommend getting another one because it's just so large and you have to get a larger crane for it, which is really expensive. So this is the only one I currently have and I'm not planning on getting any other ones. So I'm currently renting out the 40 foot long container for roughly 135 euros per month. And I'm planning to increase the rent soon as I can now get way more money for it. So right next to the 40 foot long container, you can see a smaller um, silver container which is not really a standard size shipping container, but it's rather some sort of aluminum container, which is also really handy, easy to set up. This one is roughly four yards long and roughly two and a half yards wide. Um, and I'm renting this one out for 70 euros per month. Right next to the silver container, you can see two 20 foot standard size shipping containers, which um, are actually the first shipping containers which I got whenever I started the business. I'm renting both of these out for 95 euros per month. And these used to cost me like uh, 1,900, I think. I got them from a dealer right when the Corona crisis started off. Um, so they were really cheap at that point. And they are in a pretty, pretty good condition. As you can see, all of these containers are in a good condition. This is sort of what it looks like from the front. If you're interested in the specific lock which I have there, the yellow lock um, on the container doors, let me know in the comments, but also have a look at the description in which I will link um, the container locks. Further on the right, next to the 20 foot containers we just talked about, I do have an additional two smaller sized aluminum containers, um, which I rent out for 60 euros each. And then I'd say, let's just have a look at the property. This is what it looks like. I do have some more stuff laying around here, which is um, from the friend from whom I rent out the uh, property. And then you can see here two other containers, which I rent out for 95 euros each. That's another container which is standing around, which I rent out for 70 euros. This is not one of these standard size shipping containers either. This is sort of just like a small transportation container. And then lastly, this is my other really small and rather old container, which I got for like 900 euros and which I'm renting out for 60 euros. Now, another thing I would just really like to highlight real quick is how I 
put these containers on the property. So what you can see here is that I used some sort of stone slabs, uh, which I put underneath the container whenever they got delivered. With this, you can just make sure that it's leveled uh, and that it's just a bit elevated from the ground. So whenever it rains, the containers themselves are not uh, in, an, in a puddle of water, for example. And now after showing you guys property number one, I'd say let's go to property number two. Both of these properties are really nearby, so it doesn't take me long to drive to the second property. Now what you can see here is that we do have a gate here and uh, you do need the code for the lock to be able to open the gate. And then we also do have two cameras right here and here. So now let's have a look at this property. What you can see here is that we put up a sign indicating that we do have surveillance cameras on this property. Um, I think that is actually what you need to do over in Germany for security or data privacy reasons. You have to put up a sign there. Um, if you might be wondering how I found this exact property, have a look at this video, which I will link up here. I found this property um, on a site similar to Craigslist. And then I just contacted the person who published the ad and asked him whether I could just put containers on his property. And then he agreed to it and it's been working out like that since then. So what you can see here on the right side are my four shipping containers. And then on the opposite side, I also have another three containers, which I rent out. These are all in a fairly good condition, especially the ones on the right side. And I will get to that here in a second. Um, and then on the other side, I do have another insulated one as well. So these four over here on this side are actually mine. I have bought these from a dealer for, I'd say roughly two and a half thousand euros, which is rather expensive, but that included shipping as well. Um, and they are in a pretty good condition, as you can see, especially this one here. Um, it's hardly rusting anywhere. Um, this one's in a, a bit worse condition and this one maybe as well. Uh, you can see it rusting over here a bit. However, um, I think they are um, really fine overall and they work perfectly and every once in a while you can paint over them as well if they start to rust especially for example on this side here or right here um, you can just paint them again or you can see it also from this side so over here it's really been rusting a lot and the dealer from whom I've been buying these containers just painted over them or over over the rusty parts of it um, I guess not all of it as you can see but that's also what you can do once your containers start rusting as I just said I do have four containers on the right side and then three containers on the opposite side and then back here we do have an additional two containers which I also rent out so overall as I just showed you I do have nine shipping containers and these are all these uh, 20 foot long containers which I do have on this property and which I also rent out for roughly 100 euros or even more than that per container and I do have to pay rent of about 280 euros per month for the property itself so if you deduct the revenue which i make from these nine containers from the price which i have to pay for rent for this property you notice that the profitability is really high so this container on this side um, this is actually an insulated container i bought this one used from a site similar to craigslist um, and this one only has a small door over here on this side um, i bought it for roughly i'd say I, I think like a thousand euros, uh, including shipping. So that was really a cheap one. And I'm renting this one out for, I think a hundred euros per month. Um, so that is a really good deal overall. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed watching it. If there's anything you took from this video, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and also hit the subscribe button below. I will be posting a lot more videos coming up in the next couple of weeks and months about my self-storage business and how you can set up your self-storage business yourself. And that's it. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye.